frost. It will, it will eventually. Frost. It will, but it'll be no, very no, I get it now. I, I totally. Frost. I get it. Hi, welcome to Improve Your Voice. My name is Darren McStay. Today, we're going to do some of this. Why are we going to do some of that? Well, because it might be a nice way of finding out and discovering how we shape our S sounds. Now, we don't always say the S sound just when we're pronouncing the words with S in them. Sometimes there's other words with CE, for example, or the end of a word, a word that ends in T. So some people pronounce like that. See, there's a T and then a sort of slight S at the end, that. That there's a hiss is a good one, but the reason we're approaching this today is because I noticed a friend of mine on his recording had a very very sharp S, and it reminded me that when I was back at acting school years ago and I was studying voiceover, um, a certain voice coach at the time told me that I had a sharp S, and I think it came from my own accent, which is originally from East London Essex, and so it was a bit more sharper like that. You see how it's just like the pitch of it is higher. And so I discovered that a friend of mine, he's actually from Manchester, not from Essex, uh, has a similar high-pitched sound. And I discovered this because I was on his podcast recently and I was listening back to him hosting it, or to introducing it, and I thought that that's actually, that's actually my wife brought it to my attention, but I realized that it's, it's, it's quite irritating to listen to because it's so high and it, it, it makes you want to take your headphones off if you listen to it that way. And I thought it could be something to do with partly his uh, EQ and the compression he's using on his microphone, maybe even uh, you know how he's directing air into the microphone, see like that. So I thought I'd get him in. And so yesterday I invited him over to talk about it and we're gonna, this video is gonna be me working with him on that S sound in order to show you A, how I work with people and B, how you might be able to, if you feel you have a sharp S, take control of it and maybe soften it and make it just a little bit more easy on the ear. All right, so enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. This is my good friend, Tan Lay. Uh, and Tan's another Brit abroad. He also lives in Helsinki, the same as me. And I know Tan from being around the kind of the hub of entrepreneurs, which Helsinki has a great deal of. And Tan does podcasts and he's also a marketer and a content creator. You know, do YouTube as well, don't you? A little bit. What's your channel? Walk and Talk Helsinki. Walk and Talk Helsinki. <laughs> that's not even the name of the channel, but that's what you have to look for. Well, he's uh, inter he's like um, had me on that channel a couple of times, and also on one of his podcasts quite recently. Now, the reason I got Tan in today is because this when I was listening to the podcast, and we'll You're take a slag off the work I've done. No, 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 not at all. But see, is... he, he's got hosts to help <laughs> out, um, which is a good idea, I think, by the way, because it brings a different energy. Um, and so Tan introduced the podcast and then the host takes over and then the interviewer, interviewee process happens. Now, I, when I first met Tan, I, he shared a podcast he was doing at the time a couple of years ago. And I'd noticed that, it, I didn't know if it was the recording or if it was something he was doing or the <laughs> microphone technique, but there was a sound that was happening that was really kind of tinny and high pitched and I couldn't quite work it out. And then I got to know Tan a little better. And I kind of let it go, I let it slide, and I forgot about it. Now, when he sent me this podcast that we did a couple of weeks ago, um, which I'll put the link in the description box below the so you can check it out. Back. Well, no, I, I didn't notice it because I've got used to your voice. Now, which is terrible because I should be the one noticing it, but I guess I'm more listening to your content now. And because I was on it, maybe I was just waiting to listen to me and the ego got in the way. But my wife listened to it. Oh my god! And she goes, "Oh, Darren, you've got to tell Tan about his S sounds." Mm. And I said, "Oh yeah, I forgot about that." And I listened back to it and remembered, "Oh yeah, yeah, he does have that sharp S." <laughs> and then when I listened to it a second time, I was like, "Whoa, really? that is really sharp." Okay. And the reason that, that I brought you in is because 
you're not the only person in the world that has that sound. And when you're recording your voice specifically, it can be really like high pitched in the ears and quite you know squeaky. And so I'm gonna just quickly show you. Now it could be something to do with the software that you're using mm. or, or the you know EQ you're putting on your voice, but it's not just that mm. because someone if. else would have the same issue otherwise. But I've I've got the introduction here to the podcast. Let's have a listen. Quick. In this episode, Haiti speaks to Darren McStay. He's an entrepreneur, voice coach, singer, performer, and actor. From singer. So there's this really yeah, it's really kind of sharp, and it's really high pitched, especially when it's been EQ'd that like, way. Maybe it's the compression that lifts it. That I fix it in the edit, or are you going to suggest I <laughs> well, change the way I speak? I think you wouldn't need to fix it in edit if you could change it in the way you wow. speak. And as a voice coach, Tan, I brought you You're in not here gonna because teach me audio editing. <laughs> no, but I, I think that. Uh, Everyone like watching this is watching this because maybe they've been told they've got a sharp S Interesting. or that they, they might feel they have one or that they're podcasters or YouTubers who might have heard something about their voice wow. and not too sure. So maybe you're checking it out for whatever reason. All right. But I'm using Tan because he's a good sport and, he, and <laughs> I knew he wouldn't mind me picking him apart. But, but it's not going to be so bad, Tan. It's going to be handy. easy. All right. Okay. So these ones we're looking at that obviously, and that Z, which is the same as S, but it's just you're adding your vocal folds in, it's the same sound. Um, this one, T, and sh, sh. Actually, maybe that one's not so important. So we're gonna look at the T, the S, and the Z. Mm -hmm. or, or rather, T, S, and Z. And to do that, what we wanna do is um, imagine that we're a beatboxer. <laughs> so I'm gonna teach Tan how to beatbox now, this is how it's gonna work. Uh, if we start with the sound, it's like the t sound. So, look at that first go. Have you done it before? It's from Manchester. So, it sounds actually very good in person. Actually, it doesn't sound so high pitched. So, but let's see if we can play with it anyway. What I want you to do is stick your tongue out. Get your finger, touch the tip of it. Uh, point, point, point the tongue if you can. Uh, uh, yeah, right at the tip. Now, imagine, keep that place in mind where you've just touched. Mm -hmm. Keep, keep the feeling there. Mm -hmm. Now take that tip on the tip of your teeth. Now bring it back, gently, slowly, onto your gum. Mm -hmm. Now, just behind your top teeth, mm -hmm. there's a little ridge, a little bump. Mm -hmm. You feel that? Mm -hmm. It's in the hard palate. It's called the alveolar ridge or the gum ridge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to make that same sound, but move the tongue between the position of where it is naturally for you, t -t 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 -t, which is touching the teeth, is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we're going to bring it back in a line so it's directly underneath that gum ridge. So I'll give you an example. <laughs> so what we're doing, we're just changing the filter on our on our drum machine. Okay. Try so it. that's an exercise I can do. Just try it now. Just okay. try it. Yeah. So now you've got a ch. Try and keep that. So the flow of air going over the top and not round the side of your tongue as well. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. 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 You have to put more effort into letting the, the air go over the top okay. of your tongue, yeah. Yeah. So try again. Yeah, yeah, you, you can definitely hear that filter turning mm. down now. It's good. Um, so what we're going to do next, now just because we want to play, we're an experiment, it's always really good to try different things even if you don't need them uh, because that variety will work differently for everyone you know for everyone some people will need to change the way they do that another way we can do it so we're going to go back to the way you were doing it before okay with the t -t 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 with the tongue right against your teeth right. but now we're going to change the shape of your lips okay all right so it's going to go like this so 
So I'm not changing anything but the lips. Okay. Try that. Oh gosh, all right. <clears throat> Can you hear the difference? No, but I probably will when I watch can, can it Can you feel anything different? How does it feel to do that? Okay, now, okay right. Um, if you consider the flow of air, where it's going yeah. to. What, what's basically happening is, can you hear it when I do it? Yeah, it's making me groove, so I I'm, must be I'm, hearing I'm, it. I'm, I'm over-exaggerating it, of course, um, but it's always better to go further and you can rail it back in afterwards. Mm. But what I'm going to ask you to do now is to do the two things at the same time, is to bring a tongue back just a little bit, not quite as far as you did before, because that was going into a shh sound, but somewhere just behind the teeth. And also just use your lips like a trumpet, just to shape okay. the sound as it comes out. So you're having the... What you're doing, you're reshaping the sound going into your teeth and you're reshaping the sound coming out of your teeth. So if it goes like this, I've got a whole different sound. Um, so just try that. Okay, so right, brilliant. That, that, that's great. So it's, it's a shh now though, isn't it? It's a different mm. sound. It's not an S. Um, so I'm what we can, practicing it. On what we can, well, well, yeah, yeah. What we can do now is just use the jaw a little bit more and actually do something different with the teeth. Okay. And again, it's only for play. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work. Mm. And we're doing all these exercises to get to the final, you know, eventually, mm. to see what's right with you. Okay. Um, <laughs> see what's wrong with me. Well, no, no, no it's good. It's, it, there's nothing wrong. It's just, it's just a very high-pitched noise um, on the microphone, and so we're just going to address it, and it's going to be such a small change at the end. Okay. So, so don't really, don't worry. <coughs> now what we're going to do is just do the same thing, do it as you regularly do it, and just slightly open your teeth. Put some energy into it as well. Take another breath. Open your teeth. Yeah, so it becomes a... Yeah. Right, so what? it's such a small thing we want to do. Right. Okay. We want to kind of bring the tongue back just a tiny bit. And we want to open the teeth just a little bit. And we want to shape the lips just a little bit. So we've gone a bit too far with all of them. So what we're hoping to do is go from a... So we're just softening it. Mm. So, so if you just make a hiss, mm -hmm. try that. Now try those three things just very subtly. So, just with that in mind, yeah. I mean, now that it's fine, because um, that's just planted some just different physicality about your own instrument, mm. right? about your tongue, your teeth, and your lips, and they, those things are articulators and they, they change the way you make sounds. We don't want to make a shh sound instead. Of, mm. <laughs> we want to find just to take the edge off the tss. And the best way to do that is by having something to say. Yes. So, I've got a little tongue twister for our tan and <laughs> maybe a, a little drink of water. Must be hydrated. So you want me to read from here? Yeah, let's read this one. Amid the mists and coldest frosts. Wow. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yes. Yeah, okay. But how so else do you say it without doing... Tss. Well, it, 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 well, you do make the tss sounds. You just but, have to skip it. But, but now, do, do that okay, first line okay. again. Just to actually, amid the mists uh, and coldest frosts. Amid the mists and coldest frosts. Frosts. <laughs> you have to say yeah. it, it's right there. Frosts. <laughs> Shorten the frosts, frosts, actually. You're hanging on to that frost. You're enjoying it too much. It, become, it, actually, it becomes a little camp when you do that as well, interestingly. So amid the mists and coldest frosts. No way. Yeah. I bet I could do it okay, but, on camp. But, but um, just, just remember what we, did, what we did. Just bring the tongue back just a little bit. Just soften it. Somewhere in between the All right. alveolar ridge and the teeth where they are. Just pull it off the teeth. Amid the mists and the coldest frosts. 
it's better. But, it, but, but you can still hear it's hitting that peak because it's a natural tendency for you to do that. It's your habitual way of saying it. Yeah. Um, so it's going to take a bit of effort. But you ha- it, there's two S's. S's. <laughs> yeah, amid the mists and coldest frosts. Right, you're doing it, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's an S sound, but it's not so high-pitched. Frost. And that's what we're, we're, we're... Can I hear it again? Yeah, amid the mists and coldest frosts. Don't try to copy me. You need to find it for yourself. Well, why not? Because then you're trying to recreate something that only happens because of my instrument. Okay. That, that's not you being you. We want you to be you. We're just, we're just softening the S. That's it. Because it's quite sharp. Um, amid the mists and cold as frosts. Yeah. Amid the mists and cold as frosts. Let's, uh, let's let's start with it from the end, actually. Frost. You're holding on to it. Frost. Frost. Stop it quicker. Stop it. Yeah. Just frost. Just stop. Frost. Frost. And to, how to stop it is to pull your tongue away. Frost. Frost. Say frost. 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 Okay, now um, open your mouth a little bit. Frost. Frost. <laughs> Okay, uh, pull your tongue back even more. Frost. Frost. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? Now I feel like a... I do feel like a kind of, uh, you know, a petit Brit. Frost. Frost. Well, Frost. It, but it's you'll get Frost. back to your, you know, wow. we're not trying to change your accent. Right. We're just trying to... That one little frost. Darling, it's frosty. <laughs> There's a lot more you'd have to do that to do now. that, though. I, well... I, I, I get closer to that. Okay. Amid the mist, amid the mist and the coldest, coldest frosts. Frost. If you change your accent, it helps. Frost, well, it does frost, because it's in the accent. Frost, it's in the accent. Frost. frost, frosts. But say it as you. But just take the tongue back. <laughs> I'm trying. Frosts. I'm saying it as me. Frost. Frosts. Yeah. But let, now, but now, pull the tongue back a little and say it as you. Frost. Frosts. Frosts. Yeah. So you can have this. Yeah. Sound there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to need a little bit of practice, but yeah, yeah, I that's really what it is. appreciate you bringing this to me. But remember, there's three things you can do: is you can bring the tongue it's back awesome. a little bit, you can open the mouth a little bit, and you can shape the lips. I genuinely Frosts. learned something here. Frosts. Frosts. Now use the lips I know, a little I know. bit more as well. Frosts. I'm just practicing. Frosts. Yeah. Money, <laughs> <laughs> pretty. Oh, well, now you can do it's another. Frosty action. outside. Yeah. Frosts. Frosts. Yeah. I want to hear you say that line. God damn! This is. Just the first line. Yeah. Amid the mists and coldest frosts. Yeah, so shortening it. try to stop. Yeah, it makes it less obvious when you shorten it too. Because... Amid the mists and the coldest frosts. Right, yeah. Frosts. Yeah. You have to say, you can't cheat. Frosts. It's like... Frosts. Where is your tongue? Frosts. Frosts. Take it back a little bit. Yeah. Frosts. Back a little bit more? Yeah, I get it, I get it. So it doesn't touch your... I don't want it to touch your teeth. Frosts. Oh, don't touch the teeth. Don't touch the teeth. That's what I mean by taking All it All right, back. you need to challenge the viewers to Remember do Remember that. that tip of the tongue? Try to say frosts without touching frosts. the front teeth. Frosts. 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 It will, it will, event, it will but it'd be No, no, light. I get it now. I, I totally... Frost. I get it. Frost. So it's trying to say frosts Amid. without touching your... Amid. Amid. The mists. The mists. Oh, great. And you, you coldest. Have... And the coldest... Frosts. <laughs> it's it's microphone Frost. technique though as well. Love this it. because Love what it. happens Love if it. what happens if all the, every time you send air out in a certain way yeah, towards yeah, the microphone get it. it gets quite sharp or it's quite close. It. So what, all we're doing is another way to do this. You just got a live change of behaviour here. You've just hit me right on camera. But now you need to practice it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Because none Frost. of this matters Frost. if you don't take it away and work on it. Everything Frost. takes a bit of time. Frost. How old are you, Tan? Love it. 29. It's 29, so... <laughs> I'm 45. 45, great. <laughs> it's looking good, it's looking good. Um, but like 45 years of habitual speaking, th- the way he speaks Frost. is not easy to overcome or change. Frost. So it takes a little bit of effort and a bit of practice. Um, but if you're mindful of it, now I've made you conscious of it, yes. you might st- when you listen to your recordings, oh, you gosh. might want to make it less sharper. Okay. Um, and it will make it easier to listen to. For the, you know, especially on the headphones um, and with the compression that you're using, you might also want to look at how you're doing that because I think it accentuates your S sound as well. Um, but we can get into that another day. Um, but that's something we can do. We've looked at the way that you can use your tongue and we can take the tongue back from the teeth, off the teeth, shorten the S sounds. We can even open our mouth some more and use our lips to shape 
to shape the sound as it comes out to round it off and make it softer. Frost. That's one way you can make an, a sharp S softer. And I'd like to say thanks once more to Tan for joining Thank me you, and being my guinea pig so, on this journey. Can we tell people where to go and listen to my S's? We can. My improved S's will be at metamanchester.com. It's a podcast about Mancunian, so people who are interested in speaking and improving their voice, they might want to hear Mancunians around the world speaking with me and my improved S's. In case you didn't know, a Mancunian is a person from Manchester. Right, so I'm going to leave a link to that, uh, to his podcast, in, in the uh, description box below. And thank you very much, Tan. Well, so... How was that? Was there anything in there that, that you found useful that you think you could use and take away? I, I, I like the beatboxing. I think that's a really interesting way of discovering how you can create different sounds and what's going on. You know, Remember, moving your tongue into different places, trying that. Opening your jaw or moving that into different areas. Also, your lips shaping those different ways can all offer not just changes in the way you pronounce or articulate S sounds, but other sounds as well. And if you are someone who has any issue or anything that just seems to stand out, these are three things that you could play with and, and uh, uh, sort of explore the dynamics of in order to maybe better understand your own voice or how you could change it to something that suits what you'd prefer to sound like uh, if you're not currently happy with what you have or if you have a little issue that might be like a sharp S. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice. If you have any questions or queries you want answered or even recommendations for future videos, then please just leave a comment in the comments below. You can also sign up to my newsletter on my website. Uh, there'll be a, a button there which you can press and in, put your name down and get more information about these things. But also there's um, information on my online courses which are you know incredibly more in depth than the stuff that's on this channel this channel is has everything you need really if you're if you're patient enough to go through it but the course actually just takes you from one place to a definite kind of goal and helps guide you on that goal and helps you find your own way of working and that's what's important so you can't always be told what to do and not everything works for everyone so it's about finding what works best for you and this is what I hope my courses can give you enough of to provide you with what works for you so you can go off into the future and, and, and improve your voice in your own time in your own way the way that suits you best and right, that's it, that's me. Thank you so much for watching. This is Improve Your Voice. My name is Darren McStay. And until the next time, look after your voice. Boom. Boom! Man, I really enjoyed that. You really helped me.